Let's cut to the chase. Why are your items not selling on Poshmark? One, if not more of these is probably the reason why. and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hi my name is nicole and i'm a part-time reseller on poshmark today we are going to talk about why your items are not selling there are many reasons why your items are not selling and this is only going to cover a couple of those but if you have any more reasons that your items are not selling or that you think other reasons why others are not selling comment those down below and i'm sure we can kind of build a conversation here all right so the first reason why your items are not selling has to do with your cover photo and or your title this is the first thing that the buyer sees, so you want to make sure that this looks good. So a lot of the times I'm scrolling through my Poshmark feed and I see like a listing where the photo is like unclear, it's blurry, it's dark, there's like distractions in the background, it's not really clear what the item is that is actually for sale, or I see a title that's like not descriptive, or it has a bunch of emojis, or it's like, oh, this is just a beautiful top. And it's like, okay, well, how's that helping me determine if I wanna buy this item? So this is the first thing that is probably re a reason why your item is not selling because people don't have a good thing to start off with. They're, the impression is not great. So you wanna make sure your titles are great, your uh, cover photos are great. You wanna make sure they have a white background. This is something I talk about in most of my videos, but it's so important to make sure you do. And even if you have like a nice display, you wanna make sure that cover photo really pops. and. Google gives priority to listings that have white backgrounds, plain white backgrounds. So I would suggest making that cover photo a plain white background, and then you can have all your other listings have like that nice setup that you have. But making sure the item is very clear in the, the picture of what's actually for sale, making sure that title really catches people and it, it makes it so it's the item is searchable, I think this will really help make those items sell. And if your titles and your cover photos are not great, go ahead and change those. Maybe add some keywords in there, maybe add the sizing or, make sure that cover photo that you know maybe you, you style it a different way and change things up this all helps but make sure that title has you know the item name the the brand name the size maybe a color or like a descriptor of what it is um or like the way it fits and then yeah you know, just make sure you describe it really well this will really help the next item has to do with bad descriptions or bad photos to support the cover photo. Sometimes this could be a lack there of a description if you have absolutely no description and it's just simply new with tag item, something like that. So it's really important to make sure that description is very detailed. Make sure you describe any flaws, make sure you, just, you describe measurements, make sure you describe colors, textures, patterns, anything that will help. Maybe sh make sure you describe like the way the item fits, if it's a loose fitting, tight fitting. Um, cropped, or, you know, anything of that sort. Make sure you really describe it in detail to make it really easy for the buyer. And then make sure the, the, the photos that you have on the listing are actually good photos that are shown in good lighting, that really show the item accurately. And make sure that, you know, they're not blurry, make sure they're clear. I Sometimes you see like a cover photo is really good, but then the rest of the photos are like, okay, well, I, I can't really tell what the item is. Like the, these photos are really blurry. So make sure you take all the photos of every angle of the item. Make sure you provide measurements in those photos, if not in your descriptions, and make sure every single part of the item is covered, even if there is a flaw. So make sure you kind of zoom in on the flaw and emphasize where it is, how big it is, or what it looks like. That way it's very clear to the buyer what they're getting into. This is really important and really helps your listing. So if you have no description, if you have you know bad um, pictures, make sure you change those up and this will help sell the item quicker. The next reason why your items are not selling has to do with the price. This could mean that your price is too high. Most of the time that is the case. So you wanna kinda of look at what your competitors are selling the item for. You wanna look at the comps of the item. Look at what it's selling for on other platforms. Look at what it's selling for in general. Sometimes if you price it way too high, it's not going to sell. And if there's other people out there that have it a lot lower than you, then they're probably gonna sell theirs quicker than you. So make sure you look up you know, reasonable comps. And I know as a seller, we wanna make sure we maximize our profits. And we also have to you know, factor in the posh fees and all the other fees that go along with uh, you know, doing this. But you have to be careful because you don't wanna overprice because that is going to scare people away. And I've seen a lot of resellers kind of justify why they're pricing the item higher than it actually sells for in retail value. And I don't know why they do this because I just don't think this is right, but you wanna make sure you can make enough profit on the item, yes, but you also don't wanna rip off the buyer. If they can get it cheaper on the company's website, new with tag, they're probably gonna do that anyway. And most of the time, a lot of these companies have like free shipping over 50, free shipping over 100. So you, Poshmark doesn't really have that. So 
they're gonna go there first. The main thing that you can take away from this one is make sure you're pricing the item right, but if you think you have to price it higher than the retail value to make profit, then you probably shouldn't have picked up the item in the first place. Make sure you're picking up items that are cheap enough that you can actually make a good profit on, even if you have to sell them a little bit lower. All right, so the next tip of reasons why your items are not selling is maybe you just have an outdated style or the item is not in demand. So take a look at your inventory in your closet and see, are you, do you have outdated styles? Do you have brands that aren't really, you know, selling well? Do you have things that are not in demand? This mainly goes for things that are, you know, maybe uh, off brand or off season. Um, make sure you kind of focus in on what is very popular and what is selling well. And so like if you have a bunch of winter coats and then you have no summer items and it's the middle of summer like it is right now, your items are probably not going to sell because people are not thinking winter coats. They're thinking summer, they're thinking bathing suits, they're thinking shorts, dresses, you know, anything like that. So make sure the items kind of make sense per season. And I know that we're, you know, a lot of us are all in different climates and maybe you're going on a vacation in the middle of the, in the, middle of the summer and it's going to be cold there. But you really want to make sure you have items that are in demand and brands that are in demand and, you know, updated styles. Try to look for those trends because the, the trendy pieces tend to sell really well. And Poshmark is always putting out reports on like what is trending and you can Google what is trending too if you don't you know, know that already. But make sure you have things that are in demand and make sure you have items that people want. Otherwise, you're just gonna fill your closet with a bunch of junk and people aren't gonna actually wanna buy. The next reason why your items are not selling is because you have a stale listing. So what is a stale listing, you may ask? This is when the item is sitting in your closet for months on end and it has no, you know, people are not interested in it, or maybe there is a comment here and there, or maybe it has a couple of likes, but no one is sending you offers, or you're not sending offers, all these different things, or even your offers that you're sending, people aren't buying. It's very important to kind of go through and clear out those stale listings every once in a while. And so the easiest tip I have to do for this is just to relist the item. And so you wanna make sure that it's after that 60 day mark, because if you relist it before that 60 day mark, it's not gonna show as a new listing. So basically relisting it doesn't really do much. But if you list it after that 60 days of it already being listed, it will create a whole new listing in Poshmark and it'll push it up to the new items in the new feed. Um, so I use my VA to determine what is you know, older than 60 days because I actually don't keep track of that. So it's really helpful to have my VA kind of tell me that and it picks out the listings that are older than 60 days and it relists them for me. And I try to do this daily. I try to look at if I have any items that I can relist daily and that really helps because you have more items that you're listing and then therefore it gets rid of that sale listing and it, you know, makes it a better opportunity for you to sell that item. So many times I've had a stale listing that I've relisted and it is sold within, you know, a couple hours or even a day. It's very important to do this and it gets overlooked all the time, but I can't recommend it enough. Get rid of those stale listings and even if you change up the cover photo while you're changing, like while you're relisting it, that also might help. But just clear out those stale listings and you will have more sales. And the final reason your items are not selling are because you're not sharing your items, you're not cross-listing your items, you're not promoting them. It's very important, especially with Poshmark, to share your items. And a lot of people are like, well, I don't have time to sit there and share all day, or like, I don't think it does anything. It really does, because it's getting it in front of more people's eyes, and therefore others are sharing it, or others are seeing it, and then ultimately that will lead to more sales. If you don't share your items, it doesn't look like you're active, you're not getting your items promoted to more people. And that also goes with cross-listing. If you're not cross-listing to multiple platforms, you're decreasing the odds of you being able to actually sell the item because it's only available on one platform. So it's very important to cross-list, share, promote, even share your items on like Pinterest and Twitter and all your other platforms. Very helpful to do and it makes a huge difference in the end. So these are my reasons why your items are not selling on Poshmark or in general. I think all of these we could all take a little a little bit away from and kind of use them to, you know, better our closets and make more sales. I know it's very easy to go ahead and blame like the summer slowdown that I, I want to blame right now because it's the middle of summer and people aren't buying things, but there are other reasons why too. And so even in those slow periods, you can still make good profits if you're doing all of these things. So make sure you're checking your listings, make sure you're checking for typos, make sure you're checking for errors or you know weird pictures here and there. You wanna really make sure those listings look professional. And I'm sure if you do all these things in this video, you will make a lot more sales.
So if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe for more. I do reselling content every single week here on this channel. If you are interested in seeing tips and tricks on things to do and not do on Poshmark, including what will get you banned, feel free to click right here. And if you're interested in also learning about the Poshmark algorithm, click right here. But until next time, I'll see you then.